Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Parker from Test Prep Champions. I want to cover another problem today. This one is about circles. Which of the following statements is false about this circle? So go ahead and you can read each one of these statements and see if they're true or false. Pause the video, try it out on your own. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this. So the first thing that you need to understand here is that whenever you see a line that extends about halfway through the circle, as we see here, that is the radius. And if the line goes from one end of the circle and it goes all the way across here and touches the other end, then that's giving you the diameter of the circle. All right, and I filmed another video about this on circles, but we just have to understand these basics. So the radius is half of the diameter and the diameter is equal to twice the radius. So we can say that your diameter is equal to twice the radius. So we see here, answer A, the radius of the circle is six and that is gonna be correct. So let me cross A off. And so the diameter of the circle also can't be six. So we know that the diameter is equal to twice the radius, so B is gonna be false, but let's check the other answers just to be safe. So C, the diameter of the circle is 12. That's correct because the diameter is equal to twice the radius. So if we know that the radius is six, which the picture shows us, we would just do two times six, and that's equal to 12. So we know that the diameter is equal to 12, so we can cross that off. Now D says the area of the circle is 36 pi. So you have to know the formula, which you'll be given but on your GED test, but you have to know how to use it. And the formula is that the area equals pi r squared. And so all you would do here is we just plug in what we know for the radius. And by plug in, I mean take this six, put it into the formula for r squared. So we have pi times six squared and six times six is equal to 36. So the answer is just going to be, the area is pi 36, or 36 pi is usually how you write it, which is how I write it here, so that is correct. And now the circumference of the circle, and we need another formula, formula for that, so the circumference equals two pi r, and so all we have to do here is, they're telling us that the, the radius is six again, so let's just plug that in here and test this out for ourselves. So here's what we do is we'll do two times 12, or no, I'm sorry, two times six, and we leave our pi here, and two times six is equal to 12, so therefore we find that our circumference is equal to 12 pi, so that one's also correct, and so the one that was false, like we already found, was B, but hopefully if you don't know how to find the area of the circumference of a circle, hopefully this was a good review of how to do that for you. So good luck on the test, guys. Definitely know how to do circle problems as they are common on the GED test. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more video content just like this. Thank you.